Well, hello scrappers. Mike here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to melt some of my gold. I've got some gold here that I have triple refined. It's actually been uh, precipitated from solution more than uh, three times, but the first time doesn't count generally because it usually comes out of a very dirty solution. So what I will do is I will uh, redissolve it in aqua regia, filter it well, and then reprecipitate it with SMB. Then I'll redissolve it in aqua regia again, filter it very well, and reprecipitate it with copperous or iron sulfate. And then I'll redissolve it in aqua regia one more time and reprecipitate it with SMB. Give it multiple boils with um, hydrochloric acid and then um, and then distilled water. And then I consider it clean enough for me to melt into bullion. Okay. So I think I have about 22 grams here, and today I'm going to melt it down. I'm going to try and make some rounds for a change. Uh, usually I make little ingots, but this time I'm going to try and make rounds. So the last time I sold some of my gold down at the jewelry store I've been doing business with forever, uh, they had new testing units there, and my ingots didn't fit inside the testing units. They were kind of designed for testing the purity of um, gold coins. So they said, well, you know, maybe if you make rounds, this would work better. And I thought, oh, I think I can make rounds. Yeah, let me make rounds. So this time I'm going to try and make some rounds, and we'll see how it goes. So let me weigh this up and see exactly how much gold we're going to start with here. Okay, I don't know if that's visible. Fortunately, it is not a windy day today, or I'd have to be doing this inside. Yeah, 32.82 grams, just short of 33 grams. So we got a little over one troy ounce of gold here that I'm going to melt. Okay, so let me get this into the crucible. Gently. I don't want to spill any of this lovely brick red powder here. Get it all in there. Okay, and now we put a little bit of uh, anhydrous borax on it. This is going to help consolidate the gold, help it melt a little quicker and a little lower temperature, and it will also pull away any impurities in the gold that are left after everything it's been through so far. Okay, let me get my torch out, and we'll melt this. Okay, here we go. Get that borax melted a little bit in there. Maybe we won't blow the gold out everywhere. That's a better flame. A little bit too much fuel there. This is much nicer, hotter flame. Now the gold's starting to... Yeah, now the gold's starting to melt. It takes a while to heat up a whole ounce. It's getting there.
nice feet of gold. Here it's all consolidated here into one. Well, that's not a very pretty round. It's round, but it's not very pretty. Maybe I should try again. What do you think? Yeah, it's got like a, a big nick out of the side of it. Maybe I'll dump it right back in here. And try that again. Hmm. All right, second try. Let's see if we can make it a little prettier. Get a whole round out of it would be nice, not just you know three quarters of a round. Ooh, melts quick when it's still hot. Let me get the gold good and hot this time. So hopefully it will flow into the whole mold before it solidifies. Get it glowing like the sun. And heat up the spout end of the crucible too, so it doesn't cool off too much as it runs out. We'll see if that helps. Well, it's definitely better if I can melt it in the mold. Come on, you were just liquid a few seconds ago. Nah, uh, the, uh, the graphite's conducting away too much of the heat. Not going to happen. I'll tell you what, though. That is a good-looking gold pour. That is beautiful. I'm going to try one more time. I think whatever we get this time, we're just going to have to live with. Some loud blue jays. Oh, that's better. I think we got it that time. I think we got it. Got a full round. Ooh, can I have a round of applause for that full round right there? And that is some good luck. Okay, got it out of the mold and into a beaker of water. Gotta be careful about that because this is this is over an ounce of gold here. It is dense. It's hard to get a hold of too. 
and you blow the bottom of the beaker out if you just drop it in. So, yeah, he didn't do that. Wow, look at the shine on that. Look at the flow lines. I don't know if that's showing up. Let's see if I can get you a closer look at it here. That is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. One of my best pours ever, even though it took three tries to get it round. That's that's nice. And you know what? I don't really even see any borax stuck to it. I might give it a quick boil in uh, sulfuric acid just to make sure I get it all off. So that when they put it under their tester, if and when I sell this, they won't be testing the borax film. So uh, I'll put it back in the beaker here. Gently. So I don't blow the bottom out. And then I will give it um, a little bit of a sulfuric acid boil in the fume hood. And then we'll take a close-up look at it after that. Alright, giving it a boil and dilute sulfuric acid. It should come out of there looking even prettier, if that's even possible. We'll see. I'm going to let it boil for a few minutes and pull it out. Well, I didn't think it would be possible, but I think it is even prettier after that sulfuric acid boil. It probably did take off a little bit of film of uh, borax on there, but look at the flow lines in that. And this thing is so shiny. I don't know if the shininess is coming through in the video or not. Oh, look at the reflection on my finger. That's how shiny it is. My goodness. It's just amazingly shiny. Both sides. Well, the top side, that's the show side for sure. Oh, we need to weigh it up and see how much metal we've got here in this little round. Let me get my scale. Okay, the scale is calibrated. That's good to know. Thirty-two point six five. We lost like two tenths of a gram of gold, but I'll bet I know where it is. It's probably stuck in little beads in the borax in the crucible. So. Hey, I'll get that back the next time I melt something in there, so I'm not too worried about it. That is a nice, nice round of gold. It took three effort, it, it took three tries to get it, but I'm really happy with that. And should I need to sell it? Hey, I got travel expenses coming, I got some other expenses coming. Got to recoat the surface of the pool at the rental house. I might need to sell it. So, uh... I think that the uh, the jewelry store where I do my business will have a much easier time testing it. That should fit in their tester. Okay, everything worked out just the way I wanted it to. So I hope you found this video at least a little bit interesting, educational, informative, inspirational, whatever. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to see my future videos. Uh, check out my second channel, Electric Geek 64. There's good stuff going on over there if you're at all interested in electronics or retro computing. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching this one. Bye.